the, sand, the late Sandra Hook, and uh, Dini Dillman in our office in, in Toronto and now in Hamilton, and uh, Carrie Morosky in Ottawa, who uh, was our point person uh, in Parliament, etc. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I was asked to come and cook the dinner tonight, <laughs> and so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Molly, Molly said, oh, please come, Jim, and bring money. <laughs> I did. <didn't>, uh, <laughs> It was a great uh, pleasure to come uh, for this event. We were hoping to have a big dinner in a, a curling club or something, but because of the COVID crap and whatnot, it was decided that we better do it now before the winter comes along. We're not able to sit out here. But Jamie said, you can get winter clothing for everybody. And we can all sit out here. That's true. That's, that's, that's true. Yeah. That's what everybody got for Christmas last year. There you are. <laughs> So, Mary Ellen, I, I know the reason that you said that you wanted to retire was because you had to take care of Alan, but he phoned me and said, I think you, and Mary Ellen and I should go lawn bowling. So that's why they she actually quit, so they could go lawn bowling together. Uh, they say, what? Lawn bowling? What? I asked her to quit so we could play hockey together. Uh, but Alan, <laughs> Alan's come, he comes from a long line of uh, Scottish uh, uh, entrepreneurs and whatnot, so he's very uh, very careful with the bucks and whatnot. So, Jeffrey, you can't have a third helping. Of him. <laughs> oh, you notice I had a second. Yeah. Now, it's awful that when, when Mary Ellen goes up to Lower Slave Lake for her vacation in the summertime, it's also called Lower Beverly Lake, that she says to her grandchildren, we're going to catch this big blue heron and I'm going to cook it in a, in a large pot, and you'll love it. And so now the children all take sticks and chase the blue heron away when, they, when it comes around. No, no? it's chasing us. It's chasing us. <laughs> well, I can imagine why I chase you. <laughs> but uh, on a serious note, it's hard to be serious because, uh, you know, how do you stole all the virtues of a person that uh, started so hard for the unborn, the elderly, and for justice for everybody, and uh, be so humble about it? Uh, and she is, and she's a fighter. And you wouldn't want, as I said to somebody, if you come to Kingston, you might see her walking down the street with her cowboy outfit on, <laughs> with two six guns, and they Stetson on her hat and boots and the spurs and whatnot. <laughs> but you don't want to meet her in an alley when she's dressed like that either. She's a, quite a fighter. Uh, I know the grandchildren were saying, Nanny. How come you're sitting in the office of the Premier of the province of Ontario? You're sitting on the floor. Didn't he have enough chairs? Uh, and then, how come you're standing out in the street with these picket signs and there's 700 people with you? That's because your granny was a fighter. A real battler, just like her mother, who used to live across the street here until there was a petition taken up to get rid of her. <laughs> but we were at her funeral too, and she was a, a wonderful lady. And uh, so all of you children, are you paying, paying attention there, Kiva? Kira, or there's Kiva. Kiva's down there, right. You paying it? No, she's not paying attention. Actually, Mary Ellen told about how she had a job one time in a certain club, and she had a lot of balloons that she had. But Nobody would come Sounds true. Is that true? Probably. Jim, she yes. was a former nun. A former nun. She, no she never got there, there, but her sister I'm got sorry. there. Her sister got there. And she said Alan chased her around down at the uh, university or at the, at the hospital until she caught him. And, uh, but the reality is something quite different, which you will learn later on. But the, uh, we're, so, we're so happy to be here with you tonight, Mary Ellen. We wish you weren't, we weren't celebrating your retirement. We wish we, you were, we were celebrating some milestone in what you've done, and what you wanted to do, etc. Uh, we, we have a, a picture where so if sainthood is in the is in the mixture, but then the kids all said, no, it has to be Alan that is the saint. <laughs> Mary Ellen always claimed that no matter what, she would continue to do the work. And we know now that she's arranged with a local undertaker that when she dies, a live mic is going to be put into her casket, <laughs> so we'll never hear the end of Mary Ellen. <laughs> anyway, Mary Ellen, a toast to you. Uh, you've done a wonderful job, and uh, we know that you will continue.
continue to do so for many, many years. Along with Alan, your sidekick, just like Cisco and Pancho. <laughs> <laughs>